Having money disappear from your bank account, that is one of the scariest things that can happen to you financially. Yeah, it's the worst, right? And it's happened uh, to a local couple not once, but twice mm -hmm. in two weeks. Consumer investigator Steve Sprecia joining us now. And Steve, the question is, how do we protect ourselves from keeping this from happening for, to us? To us? A lot of steps you can take, Rod. Online banking does make life easier, but it also makes it easier for criminals to get into your account and take your money. In the case of a carry couple, they caught the fraud fast, but getting it fixed, well, that was a hassle. Hackers got into Joe and Lorraine Sonopranzo's bank account electronically. I got a, uh, a debit notice of $1,503. And I was like, really? That I don't recognize. Joe thought he could fix it by calling the bank. I spent hours on the phone with uh, Truist. Uh, they launched an investigation. But they didn't get their money back until his wife dealt with a bank official in person. <clears throat> and they restored the money about a week later after Lorraine went down to the bank in person. So I had to leave my job so the following Monday and go in for an in-person meeting. And, you know, that took time out of my day. Then, while the bank was investigating the $1,500 theft from their account, another $900 disappeared. I'm like, what? And it was a Zelle, a Zelle transaction. <clears throat> and I don't use Zelle. <laughs> Never use Zelle. <laughs> I don't use Zelle. With Truist, Zelle transactions are offered as part of its banking app. In order to create a Zelle account and then send somebody 900 bucks, you essentially have to be me. I reached out to Truist asking several questions, including what does the bank do to safeguard customer accounts? What should a customer do if they find themselves in a similar situation? And was the bank hacked? Well, the banks responded telling me it was not hacked. They also told me, good news, they're going to escalate the couple's complaint so they can get that $900 back. I also need to tell you what experts say you should do proactively to check and take care of your online bank accounts. First of all, install good anti-malware software on your devices. Take advantage of fraud detection offered by your bank and never ever use public Wi-Fi because hackers can intercept your banking transactions. I have other suggestions too. They're linked to my web story on CBS17.com today. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. Yeah.